hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to teach you how you can create classes inside your python and after that how you can use that classes inside your c main program sometimes this technique is really useful for example if you're working for a very high tech industry or if you're working in a very big team and some of the members of your team write like to write code in python but maybe you like to write code in c and uh, but uh, you need the output from their code inside your c main program for the further development so that's why this technique you must need to learn uh, to be a good programmer and another thing if you are new on my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads because on this channel i usually make videos on latest and new softwares and uh, also um, on methods uh, that helps uh, you to become a good programmer and uh, these skill sets are usually nowadays required by many high-tech industries so uh, thank you and uh, now we will move over to this tutorial So first of all you need to open your terminal and we are going to use this terminal actually to compile our program and to link our libraries later first of all you need to open your uh, application where you can write the code for your uh, c++ and the python script so uh, uh, we are going to create the class in our side of our python script so you can simply write class and the name for your class i am simply creating a calculation class for this you can simply type calc um, and uh, you need to create the constructor for this class for this you need to type def i and i t and uh, you need to create some variables so you need to type self x and y so you can create also more variables if you want and uh, the next thing we need to initialize these variables inside the constructor for this you need to type self dot x equal to x and self dot y is equal to y and uh, the next thing uh, self is actually the pointer to that class and uh, the next thing uh, we need to create some functions for this class for this first of all we need to create an add function and inside this add function we are just passing a self argument and um, this uh, function should return uh, the addition of these two variables for this we need to type return self dot x plus self dot why and uh, we are going also to print something like i am in add method just to make sure that we are calling the right method and uh, the next thing uh, if you don't want to use these variables you want to use uh, some new variables uh, for the function so you can create a new function uh, with the name of multiplication or mul and uh, you can actually pass new variables uh, for that particular function and uh, you just simply write the name of those variables here and uh, you can simply return the multiplication of these two variables and you can print again something like i am in mul method it's just for debugging later this printing function actually uh, we are calling the right method from our c program and uh, actually about these variables these variables we have created in the constructor these variables are act like as a global variable you can these um, use these variables in each method of that class but the variables we have created uh, here these are just available only for this function and these variables are destroyed outside the scope of this function you are not be able to use these variables outside of this function but these variables you can use throughout the class but outside the class you are also not be able to use these two variables so the next thing uh, we are going to uh, create the object of that class in our, C, in our C++ program and after that using that object we are going to try to call the methods of that class. So first of all we need to import some important libraries. First of all we need the python. For this you need to type the python dot h actually this python dot h uh, is the python api for c plus plus and then second include we need is the io stream 
we are going to use this io stream to create uh, variables in c and also to get the output from the variables or to show the output and the next we need to create our main program and inside this our main program we are just calling some python commands from this python.h and before calling the python commands we have to initialize the python environment for this you need to type py initialize and uh, yeah and after initializing the environment you can actually use the python commands from this python.h so first of all we need to create some python objects py object and uh, the objects we need is the name of our module and uh, uh, actually we need to pass the name of that script in name module and the second thing we need to import that script inside our c++ main program for this we need another object called import module and the next thing after importing that file in our program uh, we need to tell uh, the name of the class sometimes uh, you know we have more than one classes in just one script so we also need to define the name of the class like which class we want to use from that script so for this we need an other uh, object like name of the class we are going to use and uh, the next thing mm, we need to create the object of that class so we need another object like you can call it objects of the class and after that we need uh, one more uh, thing uh, here after creating the object we need to call the methods from the class using that object for this you need to create an other variable called call method and uh, we are also passing some arguments here inside our constructor so we need another variable called args here so yeah we are done uh, with everything here the next thing we need to use these variables and load the things inside these variables first of all we are going to use the name module and inside the name module i already told you what we need the name of that script for this you need to call the function uh, py unicode um, from string and uh, you actually uh, uh, give the name of your script and the name of my python script is script so i can simply write here script without the extension and colon here this is the name of my script and the next thing we need to import that script inside our c++ program for this we need to use this variable import uh, module equals to and you need to call the function py import and again import and uh, inside this function we have actually just to pass this object name module that's it now uh, we need to check if our module or script is loaded here successfully inside our c++ main program for this you can write if statement if our variable import module is null pointer it's mean we have nothing inside this variable and we are failed to load the module and uh, we the python uh, is generating some error so we need to write python.print and uh, also uh, we can output the error with stdcerr and uh, the error is simple fail to load module and if it's unable to load the module so we will simply just return one and our program is finished but if we uh, are successful in importing the module so we next thing we need to uh, define the name of our class which we want to call from that module for this you need to write name class equal to and you need to call the function py object get attribute string and uh, inside this function uh, we need to uh, give our module here import module and from this module uh, we are going to call the class named cal or calculation here yes and the next thing we need to create the object from that class for this we need this variable so you can simply 
object class equals to and you need to call the function py uh, object py objects and uh, to create uh, the object from that class uh, py object and you need to again type object uh, call object call object and you need to pass the name of the class name of the class and uh, uh, actually uh, we are calling this constructor when we are creating the object and this constructor is also having two arguments x and y so we need to pass also here arguments if you are not using any arguments so you can simply type here null but we are using some arguments so we need to call this object here call this variable here args and we need to generate some arguments for this you can use the function py tuple and pack and uh, you need to define the number of the arguments we are using two arguments and it's a double type so you can simply type py load from double and free and the second argument is also of double type you can simply copy it here and three and two and the colon here this is how you can create the arguments and after that you can pass the arguments here now this will actually create the object for that class and it will call this constructor and uh, with the, these two very arguments x and y here so the x is three and y is two and uh, the next thing after uh, creating the object and class we are going to use this object and call the methods from the class for this we need to type call uh, method equals to py objects and you need to call the call uh, method and uh, we need to give the object here object class and uh, again the name of our method we have more than one methods for now we are just using the first method add so you can write here add and inside the add we have actually no arguments just the self pointer of that class so actually we have no arguments here so you can simply type null we have no arguments for that class and after that we need to store the output from that class inside of c++ variable you can create a c++ variable by typing double and name it from add output and uh, uh, we need to save the value from this call method for this you need to type py float as double and uh, here you need to give the name of method call method that's it and uh, for the second method we are going to copy these two things and uh, the thing is change here the name of the method mul and we are also passing some arguments to this method two arguments so to pass the arguments now you have to remove here null and uh, you need to define the type of your arguments we are using two double types so you can type two dd and you can pass your simply arguments here i am passing three and four that's it and we need to store the output from that method inside our mul output so when you are done uh, with using all the commands from the python so you can simply close the environment for this you need to type py finalize that's it and now we can simply see the output that we have stored in these variables for this you need to type stdc or and the name of your variables add output and just simply call std and line copy this and paste it again and type it here output from the mul so in the end return zero so this is our whole program next we are going to compile this program and i'm using the g plus compilation method i have also done uh, it with cmake list so if you are interested in to learn cmake list and the g++ method in detail you can watch my 
previous tutorials i will put also the link in the description so for compiling with g plus plus you need to type g plus plus and your main file name which is the main cpp and uh, the output variable name minus o output output and the next thing you need to type minus l uh, and you need to give the path for your python libraries because the python library is the third party library so we need to give the paths here for this i am going the path from my python library is in e python and libs here and the next thing we need to link those libraries I'm using Python 3.10, so I need to write here 3.10. If you're using 3.8, you need to write here 3.8. And the next thing we need to type minus i and include path for the Python. For this, you need to type minus c Python and include. That's it. So uh, okay, we have some errors in our program in line 76 and 77. Mm, no, not in 76, but in 18. And what is the error? This is the error yeah that's it now we are again compile our program now you see the compilation is done successful and the file is generated output.exe now we can see the output here you can see first i have called the add method here so it's called the first the add method and then it will call the mul method mul method and in the end i am showing the output and from the add method i am just passing the two arguments three and two and the add will be 2 plus 5 but from the null method i'm using the arguments 3 and 4 so 3 into 4 is 12. so this is for today's tutorial and uh, if you like this tutorial please uh, like my video and uh, in the next video i am uh, tell you how you can create multi threads in python and after that how you can run and call that threads inside your c main program and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.